friends. Oh, I didn't wave. That felt weird. Let's do it again. Hi friends! Welcome or welcome back to my channel! My name is Sasha and today we are finally back with an SF9 music video and dance practice. I was focusing more on my Get Ready With Me series, but I'm learning to balance things a little bit better. Today we're going to watch the music video and dance practice for Easy Love. I am very excited to watch this one with you and I hope you are too. Before we get started, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe here on my channel and my videos. I would really appreciate it. It really helps me and my channel grow. Also, if you have just a second, please check out the link below to my Etsy shop where I finally have SF9 available on the shop. I decided to do a holiday Polaroid listing with the boys looking as cute as ever next to this little like Christmas tree thing. Um, it's adorable. I love those photos. They're all available on my Etsy shop if you're interested. Uh, the link is down below. We are just going to get started because I have been filming a lot today. I also haven't been feeling the best. I was sick for most of October and um, my brain is just a little jumbled. So I'm having some trouble with thinking and memory and words and uh, it might not be a super in-depth analysis today, but I am hoping that we can just have fun reacting together and watching this together. So I hope you enjoy. Let's get started. I do also want to mention I haven't watched SF9 in such a long time. I'm anticipating being fully wrecked. I've been watching Kingdom like over and over and over, so it's not like I haven't seen SF9 in a while. I haven't seen anything new from SF9 in a while because I'm just re-watching <laughs> stuff. So anyway, here we go. I'm very excited. Three, two, one. <laughs> to figure out who has what hair color. It's all throwing me off already. I've 
haven't been paying attention to like the music video aspect at all. I've just been watching the dancing. I love that. The editing is so good. I also think it's so interesting they were dancing on sand. I very much loved that video. SF9 had such interesting concepts and such strong concepts for their music videos. It's so cool to watch. I'm so happy I got to watch it with you today. Um, we, I forget how much dancing they give us like right away too. I appreciate that very much. Thank you for doing that. Um, and it looks like there's a lot of really cool choreography to the lyric and to the beats of this. Like, the one moment that was really impactful was when it says, like, they're, like, yelling go, and they do a jump throw. Oh my god, take me out. It was so good. I also want to mention, sort of off topic, um, I started watching Doom at Your Service, and Dowan is in that, uh, K-drama. And so now he plays like this really dorky younger brother and he just like sobs hysterically in the episodes and it's so funny. So now when I see him with SF9, I have to tell myself not to laugh and to take him seriously. And it's going to take a while for those images from the drama to like get out of my brain. I haven't finished the drama. I'm on episode like four or five. So please, gosh, no spoilers in the comments. Um, I can't wait to finish it. But with like everything that's been going on, it's been very weird watching a drama about someone with a terminal illness when you don't know what's wrong with you. So I just had to take a little break. Anyway, we're going to go into the dance practice. Uh, we have the angle I don't like. But hopefully, with what I've seen from the music video, I'll be able to take like at least a couple notes so we can talk about some more dance stuff. Uh, either way, we're gonna have a good time. So, let's get started. Cool formation already. <gasps> Ooh. Uh. So that was different from what we watched last time where Taeyang starts it by walking. That was very interesting. To have just one person standing still in the whole group doing like hitting motions. I love this. What the frick? This is reminding me of RPM. Their formations are so good. I like I I can't adequately express how impressed I always am by their formations. It's stupid how good they are. Oh my god, please be careful. 
something right at the end. Um, I do have a couple notes to go over, so that's exciting. First of all, I've already shouted it like a hundred times, is the formations. It's stupid how good they are at formations. Um, like, it's literally, they're so clean. They're so sharp. They happen so quickly, but not so quickly that we lose the shape they're trying to show us. Um, and I do think that though I hate this upper angle, it does give you a better view of formations you lose some of the visual aspect though from like ripples and things like that that are better if you're like front on it like if that makes sense the intensity of this like when we get to that first chorus moment is kind of crazy uh to the point where it was giving me such strong rpm flashbacks that i thought i might like this as much as rpm and it's pretty close but it has not beat rpm it's gonna take it's gonna take something to beat it. Um, let's just put it that way. But the intensity in this went from like 20 to 1000. It was so good, so fast, and I was not expecting it, which was all, always is nice to be um, excited by something we're watching. Something really interesting that they do for this piece that I haven't noticed them do in the past is when the soloist has their moment, has uh, their singing moment, um, instead of the soloist dancing with everyone, there were a couple instances where the soloist was completely still, but like giving emotion, and everyone around them was doing the choreography, and not just like background choreography, but still kind of intense movements and choreography. Um, we haven't really seen them take that approach before. Generally, it's like smaller groups, or we'll have like the groups on the ground are just like moving very slowly, doing like background, backup choreography, whereas the soloist is with someone in the center and they're like performing um, more intensely. So it was interesting that we got the complete opposite this time, where the soloist was just giving us emotions and a performance and everyone else was uh, doing really hard choreography. That poor knee section, is it cool to watch? Is it really impressive? 100%. Is it bad for the body? Yes. Over time, uh, it can be pretty dangerous, so I hope they are taking care of their knees and joints and keeping everything healthy. Um, but that section was like wild because it's such a quick level change. And then to go right from that into a ripple on the ground of a reaching moment where they're like sort of reaching in the direction the soloist is directing them. Um, which was interesting and cool to watch. Uh, right after that, we get where they split into half the room, where they're sort of in a, a like a curved line around the soloist on each side, and this half does choreography first, and then they freeze, and then this half does choreography, and then they freeze, and then they join together. That was gorgeous. That was beautiful. I love to watch that. I didn't even think about it until the very end how important uh, talking about props are. The prop in this case would be whatever their costume is, their jacket. Um, love the little peekaboo shoulder moment. They do, SF9 man does a lot of like turning around and like hip wiggle or like shoulder moments. Um, really, I really appreciate it. I don't mind that at all. I like it. It's good choreography. Um, it's interesting. And it's, it's nice because we see the front of them so often which sounds kind of dumb. Like, of course you do. You need to see their face if they're performing at you. But it is nice to see like a different side of them quite literally, um, instead of just staring at the same thing all the time. It would be like staring at a wall and then all of a sudden you paint it and you're like, oh, that's interesting. 
So I like it. I appreciate that we have that choreography. And then there's a lot of times throughout this where they'll like grab the jacket and rip it open intense and like move forward. Um, so yeah, good use of a prop. Um, they've done this before with Oh Sole Mio, I believe, where they had like that cape thing and they would like hold the cape and like do fun cape stuff. So not the first time and uh, they're clearly good at it. So keep doing it. I'm, I'll be very interested to see in future uh, dance practices what other props they come up with, if any. So I think that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time. Bye.